afternoon, sir. Yes. My name is Patricia McIver, and I have lived in Westerly with my family for the last 17 years. I have to bring you back to the Irish question, and I must say I'm a little disappointed in your response. I've heard a lot tonight about democracy in action. That's a privilege and a wonderful thing. And in your answer regarding Brexit, you alluded to the fact that the people voted. The people in the north of Ireland voted to remain within the EU. And that act of democracy was ignored by the British. And I'm not sure you fully grasped the emergent nature of the situation in Ireland right now. And democracy, again, is a privilege, and it's a privilege that I did not always have, because I grew up on the streets of Derry in Northern Ireland, and I'm not sure if you understand fully what will happen if there is a no-deal Brexit. We will return to the violence of the three decades that I grew up in. We will return to soldiers on our streets, bombs and bullets, and I can't imagine that you want that. And I'd like to remind you that approximately one-fifth of your constituents are Irish Americans, and I can't see them wanting to return to that. So I would like to know, will you block any trade deals with the UK in the event of a hard border returning between the North and the South of Ireland? Ma'am, thank you for your question. Remember uh, your history, the, uh, the, the, the terrible uh, violence that took place uh, in, in Northern Ireland, and none of us wants to see the return of that. Yeah. I, I don't, uh, I want to be clear that I don't have any jurisdiction over how uh, the uh, Great Britain or Northern Ireland uh, voted in, in the Brexit deal. I have no power over, over, uh, over Brexit. Uh, it's unfortunate, as I said, my observation is that the probably a mistake, but I don't know the intricacies of it. I will look at any uh, trade deal that, that we would be responsible for approving to make sure that, uh, that it's not home to be something that's going to return to the days of violence in, in, in Northern Ireland. I, I promise I will look at it, but nothing has been presented to uh, me yet or us, and, and, but I will keep your thoughts and your concerns uh, in mind. I'm still not sure that you fully grasp what I'm saying. Um, it's not that the deals with Britain would, would cause a problem. It's that it's the only way that the people of Ireland have any leverage. Because the US has been influential in, in setting up the Good Friday Agreement which brought pre peace to Ireland. And they are, in fact, our tours of that. And the British will only respond to pressure from the US. And as I said before, on the fifth of your constituents want this. It is your obligation to, to move forward with this. Were you sensitized to an issue that I had not been aware of and, and how it could affect uh, the, the people of Northern Ireland or the, the, the result of uh, a potential Brexit? Uh, if it's a, it's a, uh, a, a Brexit without uh, an agreement that could lead to more serious consequences and turn back the clock on uh, uh, the ending of violence, I will take your concerns to heart as I'm looking at anything that's presented to me in the, in the trade agreement. I promise you I will look at it through that lens. 